Hello, and welcome to this quick start guide video for FortiGate and Forti Wi-Fi units. In this video, you'll see how to easily set up and configure your brand new FortiGate or Forti Wi-Fi right out of the box. The easiest way to configure your unit is via a web browser. This option is a straightforward way to set up your unit with no installation required. Alternatively, you can use Forti Explorer. Fortinet's custom build configuration tool to configure your unit from Windows and Macs or iPhones and iPads. Please note the following details about your network will be required to configure the WAN interface for internet connection. A FortiGate or Forti Wi-Fi in a typical setup include the following basic connections. An Ethernet cable connecting a WAN port to the internet via a DSL cable modem or a router an Ethernet cable connecting one of the internal or LAN ports to your computer. The USB management port can be used to connect to Ford Explorer running on Windows and Mac PCs and the USB port to Ford Explorer running on iPhones and iPads. The power adapter should be connected to an electric outlet. Now, let's take a closer look at the web browser-based approach for configuring your FortiGate or Forti Wi-Fi unit. For this approach to work, your computer should be set up to have IP settings assigned automatically. Let's confirm this is the case. To do so, open the Network and Sharing Center, click on Local Area Connection, and then Properties, and then TCP IPv4 Properties. Ensure Obtain an IP address automatically is selected. Since our computer is connected to the 40 Gator 40 Wi-Fi, you should have been assigned an address from within the default network. Let's check this is the case. Launch command prompt and type in ipconfig. We see our computer was assigned an address from within the 192.168.1 subnet and the default gateway 192.168.199, the IP address of our 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi. Launch a web browser of your choice and browse to https colon slash slash 192.168.1.99. This is the factory default IP of the internal interface of FortiGate and Forti Wi-Fi units. Log into the unit by entering admin in the name field, leaving the password field empty. After logging in, launch the wizard located at the top right corner of the screen. We'll go through each step of the wizard to configure the FortiGate or Forti Wi-Fi unit. In the System Settings section, we can configure Central Management, change the admin password. It is a good idea to change the default admin password, so we'll go ahead and do that here. And also to select the local time zone. The Network section allows you to set up your WAN, LAN, and optionally Wi-Fi settings. You'll need the information obtained from your network admin or ISP to properly set up the WAN topology and primary WAN settings. In our example, we'll use the default WAN topology, single Ethernet, but change primary WAN settings from DHCP to static IP. With static IP selected, we'll need to enter the IP address, netmask, and default gateway as shown. The LAN settings page is used to configure the internal interface, the interface your computer is currently connected to. Note the default IP address 192.168.199 is the one used to connect to the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi device. The default IP address can be changed here. If DHCP is enabled, the start and end addresses should be updated as well. On 40 Wi-Fi units, you'll see the Wi-Fi settings page. On this page, you can change the default IP address, enable DHCP and assign the start and end addresses. We strongly recommend you to change the Wi-Fi network name and pre-share key from the defaults. The security section is used to configure the firewall policy between the internal and WAN interfaces. On the access schedule page, you can configure internet access to be allowed always, are restricted based on a specific schedule. From the Internet Access Policy page, select Enable NAT to allow Internet access from the internal interface. 
Note the UTM protection and inspection options selected and will be applied. The Configure Virtual Server page allows you to set up external access to internal servers from non-standard ports. You can do so by selecting Enable Virtual Servers, entering the external port number, the IP address of the internal server, and the internal port number. The last step is to set up Remote VPN Access. Select Allow Remote VPN Access, enter the username and password of any users you'd like to have this access, as well as the name and internal IP address of any SSL VPN bookmarks you'd like to make available to these users. After going through the wizard, you'll see a summary page of all the new settings that will be applied to the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi unit. If anything needs to be corrected, select Back to go back and make the changes. To apply the new settings as shown, click Configure. Now because the settings of the internal interface has changed, and it's the interface your computer is connected to, you'll lose your connection with the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi unit. To help get a new IP address assigned to your computer, disconnect and reconnect your computer with the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi unit. To confirm a new IP address has been assigned, launch command prompt and type in ipconfig. Note the updated IP address and default gateway. You can access the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi unit by browsing to this new default gateway. As 40 gates and 40 Wi-Fi's come with self-signed certificates, that are not recognized by the browser, you'll see a warning page and will need to add a security exception. After adding the security exception, you'll be connected to the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi's login page. Remember to log in with the newly updated password. In addition to the web browser-based approach, you can also use Fort Explore, Fortinet's custom built utility, to set up the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi unit. Let's start with the Windows Mac version. You can install Ford Explorer by either launching the CD that came with your unit or by downloading it from www.40.net slash fbxp. After installing Ford Explorer, connect the USB port of your computer to the USB management port of the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi unit. The Ford Explorer Easy Configuration Utility launches automatically when the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi has been detected. Note Ford Explorer provides three options for configuring your Fortinet device. The Setup Wizard, Web Base Manager, or the Command Line Interface. We'll launch the Setup Wizard. Log in by entering admin as a username, leaving the password field empty. Once logged in, go through each step of the wizard to set up your device. You can also use the Ford Explorer app to configure 40 gates and 40 Wi-Fi's from iPhones and iPads. The Ford Explorer app is available in the App Store. Once installed, connect your iOS device with the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi unit before launching the Ford Explorer app. You'll see the sign-on page when the 40 gate or 40 Wi-Fi device has been detected. When the sign-on page appears, enter admin as the username leaving the password field empty, and tap Login. After logging in, you should change the default admin password. To do so, tap General, and then change admin password. After changing the admin password, you can go back to the main page to set up your network interfaces. As you can see, there are options for configuring any of the interfaces shown. We will go ahead and change the settings on WEN1 by allowing access to HTTPS and SSH. You can continue to configure any of these interfaces as required. This concludes our Quick Start Guide video. Thank you for watching.